Hi everyone, welcome to Tutors. The topic for today is rest and motion from physics. So previously we have discussed about position. Applying that concept here, we will see that the relative position of this ball with respect to the grass with time is not changing, as you can see. But in the second case, the position of the ball with respect to the grass, though you cannot see a grass here, but yes, let's imagine that there is a grass here. So the position of the ball with respect to the grass with respect to time is changing. So this ball is said to be at rest at this moment and this ball is said to be in motion at this moment. So the only difference between the two is that there is change in within the position with respect to time, with respect to a reference point. Now let's solve a few questions related to this. If you're standing in one place and your friend walks by you, are you moving relative to your friend? Yes. Why? See, you are standing and the friend is moving. So as the time passes, the position of your friend will keep on changing, right? Now, is your friend moving relative to you? Yes. As you, as you can see the uh, person moving, similarly, your friend can see you moving. This is similar to the case like when you're sitting in a bus and you look at a tree which is outside. So according to you, if the bus is moving, the position of the tree will keep on changing. Though a tree, obviously we know that it cannot move, right? Now with respect to the tree, if you're sitting in a bus, you are moving, right? So both the cases are similar to these. Now is either of you moving relative to Earth? See, this is a very fun fact. We know that Earth revolves around the sun. Right. So with respect to sun, each and every person or object on Earth is in continuous motion. But with respect to Earth, you are at rest if you're not moving with respect to time. So me with respect to Earth, since I'm standing in one place, I'm not moving. So no, but my friend as he's walking. So yes, with relative to Earth, he's moving. Now next is either of you moving relative to sun. So previously, as I have told you, that Earth is revolving around the sun. So each and every object that is on Earth is in motion with respect to sun. So yes, both of us are moving with relative to sun. Now next, let's solve one more question. So if you and your friend are walking down the hall together at the same speed in the same direction. So the kick part here is that same speed and the same direction. So are you moving relative to your friend? Now see, with respect to time, as the time changes, my reference point is my friend, but he has the same speed and he's walking in the same direction. So his position with respect to time is not changing. So no, we are not. I, and so I'm not moving relative to my friend. Is your friend moving relative to you? No, because if two people are sitting in a moving bus with respect to time, their position is changing with respect to a reference taken outside the bus. But inside the bus, they both are at rest with respect to each other. So relative position is a very important concept. Do go to tutelf.com and have a look at the previous video for this. Or you can have a look here also. Now, are either of you moving relative to the earth? So with respect to the earth, since both of us are walking down the hall with the same speed in the same direction, so our position is changing. So yes, we are moving relative to the earth. Now, if it has asked with respect to sun, then yes, we were in motion, even if we were standing at the position. And I hope now you know why. Please do check your answers. I hope they are correct. Thank you for being a part of tutelf.com. Please do log on to the site or have a look at more, of, more videos here. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.